G'day crew, welcome to another video. I can barely contain my excitement today because after about a month of terrible weather, we've got a perfect break today. We've got about five to eight knots of wind and uh, I'm out here with Tim this morning. We uh, got up at stupid o'clock, about 4.30 and we've pedaled about 10 to 12 k's out to the spot. So the uh, plan for today, well, continuing the hunt for Harpuka today. So. I've decided I'm gonna stick with slow pitch jigging. So I've got myself a new setup and I'm about to get rigged up and uh, let's find that sign and get onto the fish. All right, so here we go, first fish of the day. Uh, it's taken not too long to find a fish. It's taken a bit of time to find some sign though. First spot we were at, there was absolutely nothing happening on the sounder. Um, but yeah, seeing a little bit of sign here, not a whole heap, just lots of uh, speckles on the bottom of the floor, of the sea floor there. And we've got something on the line, but it's not feeling, not feeling ginormous, that's to say the least. Well, here we go. Our first fish, and another, then a humble snapper. Good little pan-sized snapper. Been hooked really well by the uh, jig. So as you can see, the beauty of these jigs is uh, you have hooks on the top and bottom of the jig. So that second hook comes around and usually catches the fish in the side like that. And that way uh, you've got a hook in the mouth, hook in the side. Very slim chance that these fish are going to go anywhere. And um, this one's not the target species. So I'll get these hooks out and put it back. Luckily it's ears blown out on its way up. So should have no trouble releasing the snapper. Here we go, hooks are out. Here we go. Let's see the snapper on its way. And down it goes. Back to the bottom. Let's get this jig back down there. All right, second fish of the day. Whatever this is, pretty small. Oh yeah boy! <laughs> Blue cod! Finally! Yes! Have you got a tape measure? Oh I think I've got a tape measure. I don't actually know if this is a legal blue cod. It looks it looks legal. <laughs> I think he's finally done it! Oh yes! It's 38 centimetres! Finally, I've been wanting to tick this box for so long and that's to get a legal blue cod up here in the upper half of North Island. I've got plenty of these down south but been trying and trying for ages to get a blue cod so I am absolutely wrapped to finally have got one of these guys on the kayak. Nice 38 centimetre blue cod. They certainly come in bigger size than this but that's a respectable blue cod and it's going to make great eating. So I'm going to put this one out of its misery, chuck it in the bag, and I am so stoked to have ticked that off. Regardless now of whether we get any harpooka or not, I'm just really happy to have got this in the, uh, in the bag. So, stoked. Oh, a bit of weight behind this one. Some big head nods. Oh, yeah, it's a good fish, bro. I reckon this could be a good snapper. Alrighty, we're hooked up again. Next drop after put, putting that cod out of its misery. And um, we got not a bad fish here. It hit the jig on the drop. And uh, shit, yeah, some good head nods to this. I think this is, might be a good snapper. Could be a small kingfish. This jig's really doing the jam damage today. Only been jigging for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and so far so good. All right, got ourselves a very nice snapper here. Luckily it's blown its ear on the way up. So this will make a good release candidate. Man, some stunning colors on this fish. Whoa. <laughs> Is 
Sheesh. <laughs> No, I kind of just put it in and hope for the best, eh? <laughs> Gee, <laughs> this guy's got a bit of juice in him. I'm going to pull him off a bit quick. How about that, though? That is a very nice snapper start off the day. He's been pinned both hooks uh, through the top of his top, top lip there and the second one underneath, so triple pinned by all three hooks. Um, and fortunately, this one's blown its ear. So this will uh, go back pretty easily, hopefully, but I'll get these hooks out and we'll find out. Too easy, another nice snapper released. Um, hopefully uh, we'll see a few more of those today. Let's get the jig picked down. Well, Tim's hooked up over there to what he thinks is a pretty nice snap. And I'm straight down and straight into what feels like the same. Definitely not, not as big as that last one, but still a nice fish. Plenty of sign down there on the sounder. Must be big schools of snapper down there. Well, not a snapper, a golden snapper, even better. And um, since it's quite early in the day, I think we might flick this guy back. But that is a uh, good eating sized golden snapper, that's for sure. Dude, it's a nice snapper. Sheesh. And look what Tim just pulled up. It's a stunning fish. That's got to be close to, I don't know, it's got to be at least 10, 12 pound, maybe 14, eh? Looks like it's blowing its ear as well. Cracking hard, so. Yeah, it should go back. Oh, I can see it. I can see it swimming down. Far out, that was cool. Epic, re down, eh? yeah, epic release, man. Do you want to see with those big snapper, when they blow their ear and you can put them back, get them straight back down there. Very cool. All right, on the drop again. What I suspect will be another nice snapper. Really nice bit of weight behind this fish. Pretty quick head nods on this fish though, which is quite interesting. Maybe it'll be a monster blue cod instead. <laughs> Bit of weight to this one though. I reckon it'll be a good snap. Oh no, that doesn't look like a snap. What is that? Where is it? It's blowing its ear, whatever it is. What is that? Yeah, snapper. Yeah, I was excited too. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another stunning snapper. Let me pull this guy in. There we are. Man, hard to find a small snapper up here, that's for sure. Every single one. Pretty much every one we've got this morning has been really nice. This one's no exception. If I can hang on to it. Check out that snapper. Another beauty. That third hook, once again, caught it in the side there with the main hooks in the mouth. That's worked a treat. Gonna get these hooks out. Get this snapper on its way. Right, so the old Kabura and the rod holders worked a charm for Tim. <laughs> He's hooked up to a very nice fish, which is actually giving him a bit of a toe by the looks. Pulling a good bit of line before. It's like a head shake to the other one, but it's not running much now, so who knows? Yeah, well, it's just a uh, snapper that's giving up the fight. Oh, there's those head shakes. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's a nice snapper. That demoed that uh, Kabura. It's not massive, but it's good. Yeah. Well, you can't complain about that. <laughs> Five, six, 
Vinny. What's the distance between those two things on the PDL? From there to there, bang on 600. Oh yeah, oh, that's a good reference point, didn't know that. And then each side here is pretty much bang on 100 as well, so outside to outside. Is that 80? 800, yeah. Yeah. Hey, on. Before you chuck it back, I'll come around. Up. Oh. <laughs> She's gone. Nice one. Whatever is on here feels alright. Okay, so we're back on. This fish feels like it's got a bit of weight to it. Could be a Johnny. Or this could actually be Granddaddy Harpooka. Big open mouth coming up through the water is what it feels like. Oh, so the first granddaddy hard book for today. Oh, I got a nice snapper. That is a massive granddaddy hard Oh, and he's not happy. <laughs> I don't think this is the last granddaddy pucker we'll see for today, but look at that. What a specimen. That's a really good sized one. Um, but yeah bit early on the day to keep something like this so put this big fella back all right there we go got the hooks out of this big fella and let's see it on its way back down it goes well i just had a small hit on my uh slow jig and i pulled it up and look what i've caught this tiny little what I thought was a pink Mau Mau, but I'm really not sure. It's a really magnificent looking little fish. So I'm going to have to do a bit of Googling and find out what this is. But hopefully, once I get this hook out, I'll be able to release it. But it's pretty, pretty magnificent looking fish, that's for sure. I think I've seen people post about these online. Okay, we've put, hooked into a bit of a string puller here. It was the first one to pull a bit of drag, so that's a good sign. Tim and I have just moved spots. We're actually just heading out a bit deeper, as those spots we were at before weren't really producing for us. Um, and yeah, first drop. Hooked up into a very nice feeling fish. Let's hope it's a goodie. Right, so whatever it is, feels like it's starting to give up now. It's about halfway up the water column, getting a bit of line angle. Another head shake. Oh yeah, quite a bit of line angle now. Hopefully it's not a big snapper. Here it comes. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a very big snapper, I think. Oh yes, that's a uh, bit of a horse. It's let out some of its ear, so have a feeling we might be able to release this one, but I don't want to call it too soon. We'll see what happens when we get it on board. You still on it, man? Yeah, big snapper. So once again, all three hooks in the fish. And this snapper hasn't actually uh, blown its guts by the look, so we should be able to get it back. But, oh, hook in the chute. But check that out. That's a uh, whopping snapper. Don't know what that would be. Give it a little measure in a sec I think. Excellent fish, really nice to pull this one up from the depths and I'm stoked because it's blown its ear so should go back. There we go, that one's just over 600 by the looks. So get it straight back in the water. Oh, 
Well, there we go. Back to the bottom. Uh, I was secretly hoping that was going to be it, the, the harpuka, but oh uh, well, that's still a really respectable snapper, and I'm just over the moon to be able to release that one. Usually, bringing them up from these depths, they get barrel trauma and, and blow their gut and can't go back down. So, nice to be able to release that one. And uh, I'm going to keep working on this sign. Holy shit! Holy shit, did you just see that run? Holy shit, I thought it had already woken up. It just did like a 15 meter run. <laughs> that was epic. Well, that's the thing, it doesn't actually feel, oh, here we go, let's go again. It doesn't actually feel that heavy. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> what is this? You on? Big? What is this going to be? <laughs> it was an epic run. Oh, here we go. Let's go again. <laughs> this, will, this will be a pretty mean snapper if it's a snap. Pretty excited to see whatever this is. That was a, that was a monster run. It was like five to eight seconds of just constant run. Could be the world's biggest granddaddy harp hooker. <laughs> oh, no, it's a snap. Another nice snapper. Must be hooked on the side or something. Yeah. Oh, another massive snapper. Oh, really? Oh, Devo. Oh, this one might have to come home actually. Damn, this snapper put up a mean fight for its size. It's not even that big, it's probably only like less, it's probably only like 50 something centimetres. Super fat though. Well, there we go. Another monster sized snapper on board this one's not as big as that last one that i got but still a really nice snapper um i have a feeling it's pretty bloated and it might not go back but we'll give it a crack see if i can get it back down there oh there we go it's making a it's making a dash looks like it's going down come on keep going <laughs> Yeah, it's going down. Woohoohoo! Come on, keep going, keep going. The water's crystal clear out here. You can see, see for miles down there. And that snapper over there now, slowly but surely making its way back down to the uh, back down to its home. So another one released, and the mission continues. What is it? Two snapper. Uh, sorry, can't turn around. Uh, come on. There we go. Sorry. Fuck yeah. Bro, oh, that's like a. Uh... Look how it's hooked though. I'm uh, sorry. Sorry, mate. That's no, my bed. There we go. Check out, still behind me. I was racing over. I thought you had a kitty or something, eh? But look. Holy shit, bro. That's like 22 pounds plus. There is a lot of sign down here, too. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see if I can get myself one. <laughs> so while I was out wide mucking around with jigging, uh, Tim called me up on the radio, so he's got a nice wee fish. <laughs> and check that out. Turn it around a bit, Tim, so you can see it. Unfortunately, this one's blown its ear, but 
It's an incredible <laughs> star. Get this right around the road. Check that out. That's a beauty. Try and back up so we can get a better shot of it.